Today I am doing a short video on making soap dough coconuts. There are two ways that I do this. I am showing you the way that I think is a little bit easier today. So I take white soap dough and I kind of mush it all up and roll it into a ball. And then I take brown soap dough, same thing, get it all worked so it's nice and flexible and then I just flatten it out with my fingers so that it's relatively round and flat and then I take the white soap ball that I made and I wrap it wrap the brown around it as I wrap the brown around I just try and cover all of the white and then I roll it between my hands to create a smooth surface. So it's pretty simple to do the first part. Once I have the ball made, I just cut it in half. And as you will see, when I cut it using this cutter, because the soap dough is soft, it deforms just a little bit. So I just kind of squish it all back into the semblance of a half circle. Then I take this tool. So it's a clay molding tool. Um, I will look for the link and provide that in the comments for you, but I just basically push it into the center to kind of create a little cavity. Smooth out the edges again and then I take this other tool, which it's very hard to see here. The camera will not really focus on it, but it's all these metal like spikes that create a little brush. And I just brush it down over the outside of the coconut. This just gives it that textured kind of hairy look that <laughs> coconuts have. I think it just adds a little bit extra to the coconut and so I do it. You'll also see that I kind of stab the outside of the brown portion. Just again, it's just giving it some texture. Not necessary to do. But yeah, that's it. It's fairly simple and it creates a really cute coconut. You can also make a whole coconut, not cut it in half, and then put three little holes in the top if you wanted uh, another variation of the coconut. 